Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Pillars of Eternity 2. Certainly. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today here in the streets of Nekataka. And we're literally in the streets of Nekataka, there is nothing here because we got ambushed last episode by the Principi again. I don't, I don't have patience for them. Well, we didn't really get ambushed because they didn't really attack us, but we're going to the Piri Piriki's Outlook. Who Piriki is? I don't know, Queen's Birth? We have a, a reason for that to be called that? Let's see what reason this is. Uh, so, one hour and four, and four minutes? It doesn't actually say up here, does it? Oh, there's population by sorted by race and stuff. Nice. Uh, ruler? Queen? Okay. Limited, limited monarchy. What is a limited monarchy? Is that like, you don't, it's like a king, but not, not, not without, maybe without the dynasties or something, I don't know. Uh, Island Dalmawa, let's see, dwarf, yeah, there's a lot, there's, there's more other things, especially because they are differentiated between different folk. These are humans, or I guess, they don't say humans, I think, I think because of the actual serious questions that arise when you're in a setting like, I don't know, Forgotten Realms, for example, you start talking to people as in you're a human and you're not and it's it can break immersion maybe i don't know but it it is a weird thing Did but I yeah tell you you were in my dreams last night watcher you were on your knees before my god and i couldn't stop screaming the, i that took a turn uh happy to oblige can i talk to you about that well hey hi tell me what's on your mind you had nightmares then. They're there in my head when I sleep. And sometimes I can taste yeah. them. You need me, I'll be... T so I can talk to her about that. Curious Lantern, name your price, says that person as he goes away forever. I'd be glad to. Let's, uh, let's look around. We have a very similar look. To be honest, it's a very similar looking place to, uh, to where we just came from. Let's look at the map. I mean, I say it's similar looking. As in, in comparison to the little village that we found outside of uh, Port Maje. And uh, so, yeah, it's... I mean, it, it's all stones and tiles and things. Quitsley's Exotic Herbs. And we have a person over there that doesn't have a name, but we do have herbs, so I'll take them all. Because nobody cares. And a lot of people want my lantern! That's all... Not my lantern, it's actually Shodi's lantern. But let's go in. You must gather your party before... Oh. Never, can never hear that until the end. Venturing forth. It does end there. Quitsleasley, hello. Why, hello. Could Steely at your service. Thank you, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Quit Steely, that's, not, that's much better, actually. She sets down her pruning shears and uh, looks you up and down with a warm smile. Nice to see a friendly face. Too few of us chance the voyage south. I can tell that you're new to the dead fire. Maybe you're still getting your bearings? Some of my herbs can help with seasickness or worse afflictions. But what makes you think I got here recently? It's nothing personal. You just have that taking everything in look about you. Give it time. It'll pass. She reaches to brush a curl of fur behind her ear. Yeah, she's a Norlin. Her gaze wanders towards Seraphon, who is also a Norlin, and lingers there. Then she pulls her... Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Then she pulls her focus back to you, blushing slightly. Oh, ain't no shame in looking, lass. <laughs> Flashing a crooked green seraphim bows to the herbalist. Eloth rolls his eyes because he's jealous. No, irresponsibility! What is... What is irresponsible about flirting? Come on. I mean... I guess Eloth can still not like a, the thing, but it's just... Whatever. Um, I thought I thought for a moment that they had some history or something. We are looking for Serrano or something, somebody that Seraphine is looking for. Uh, so what brings an herbalist to Pariki's outlook? Money is the obvious answer, but I don't think that's what you're after. Yes, I'm an herbalist, but I also pride myself as a florist. I think the city liked the idea of putting a flower shop somewhere visible. It's ostentatious, really. Probably the same reason why we have a magic shop next door. Pariki's Overlook is a great big splash of culture and innovation, there to show travelers that the Juana are ready for the world at large. Okay, that's an interesting thing. Also, I think I might have said Outlook before. Um, okay, show me what you have for sale. So, let me look at my stash. Uh, we are also have, gonna have to consider the uh, 
turns thing for the charges and all that sort of stuff on those. I don't think I need to sell anything. We do have a dagger and a pistol and uh, a few other things over here that I can sell because I'm not going to use them. Oh, three over there. All good. 300 monies. That's pretty good. Let's look at what you have yourself. Apothecary's Gloves for Dexterity and Alchemy. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I might want that. Plus two alchemy seems pretty decent. Living steel! Is that like in Durgan's thing? Infused with soul essence. It is. It is. Infused with soul essence, this polished steel weighs remarkably little. It feels cold to the touch. Hmm. I imagine it does very poor armor because it weighs so little. But then again... The weight of an armor is directly related to how much it spreads the, bla the, the blow on some types of attacks. But not on all of them. Light armor is pretty decent to have, of course. And leaving iron, apparently, it's just... Yeah, they're just making all the soul infusing of this stuff. Yeah, pretty good. Because, you know, that's the the expansion, or the, the two expansions of the first game. It's all about that. Over here, we have a twisted rot root doll. Not rot doll. It does... What? Figurines. Once per rest. Let's see what he does. This bundle of roots is knotted into a rudimentary or a rudiment, whatever, simple figure of a kith. The head of the doll contains an unknown gem wrapped in moss. The taut root fibers shudder and creak periodically as if turning to pull free of its unnatural shape. But what exactly does it do? It's combat only. It is instantaneous. It has a recovery time, which is the time it actually takes to, you know, get ready for another thing. Uh, so, apart from the cast time, it's after that. And a range and duration... And it's quiet. If oh, it summons a vine lurker. That's the th why didn't I anyway? Yeah, I know why. Because noise and then effect is not uh, it's not bold. Why is it not bold? These are bold. Is that a? Yeah, that's an oversight on the UI side. Mm, not just on that. It's not like a bug or anything on this on the thing. So I might want that. We'll see. Uh, I think I... St I don't know. I'm not used to buying things, to be honest, in Pills of Eternity. Let's look around a little bit. See you later, Quitzli. Quitzli? Quitzli. Yes. I'll also steal from you. Weekend, uh, blow it out. In spot. Let's see what we have. Oil of a lure. Mm-hmm. And uh, a hat. A broad-brimmed hat. Well... I'm sorry I stole from you, but it doesn't matter. So I didn't really steal from you. I just got some items because I came here. Because that is the way you met a game. Because it really doesn't matter. Well, I mean, it might matter to some people. Best deals at the dark cupboard. Master gets angry if you don't say that. Oh, what? I can't talk to the imp. Wait a minute, an imp? An imp. A, 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 an imp? Yeah, I should have guessed. The Brian imps are, are a thing. Let's see what they are. Oh, I can't. I can't see what they are there. Lured by the essence of ma uh, that magical items possess, Brian imps commonly nest in sea caves or among the islands that pepper frequent shipping routes. To avoid a raiding flock, it is advised that ship transport ma uh, transporting magical items anchor at least five leagues from any imp in inhabited island during nightfall. Elsewise, the crew may find their sails shredded and the hull carved up come morning. Yeah, but it doesn't really tell me about the normal imp. Why didn't I figure out that... Uh, why didn't I associate... Hot razor skewers, crested swordfish. Nice. Uh, why didn't I associate Brian Imp with imps? I don't know. I, I don't know. Wekame! Cool name. Today's catch, I say. Fresh and hot, spice to the tongue of outsider and local alike. That sounds like a compromise. The vendor gestures to a bed of hot coals in, the, in his wagon, a flame for some scent rising from the bundle of meat-stuffed leaves. Show me what you got. Uh, and he sells infinite crusted swordfish. I don't like crusted fish. It really... That, don't do that. Don't just cook it normally and serve the crust to the side if you like the crust or some. I, crew morale is amazing though. Is it very expensive? It is very expensive. Glazed chops. What is that? Roasted pork chops with a crown fruit glaze. Mmm. 
The caramelized fruits and crackling meat makes for a sweet, savory dish. I, I imagine it's pretty nice, but um, fried ugly. Oh, yeah, we had this, didn't we? Wall and Constitution. Yeah, I think we can make this one. Cool stuff. Uh, but I'm not going to get any uh, anything right there. Let's go down here, make sure... Just everyone is talking about the lantern. Seriously. They're failing nobles and all that sort of stuff. I should go over there, but let's first explore this side of the street. Quite a beautiful... Nago. You have truly put your foot in it this time. What happened, man? Adotella, you go to visit the Luminous Bathhouse, yes? Oh, I... Uh, actually, yes. Uh, why do you ask? My satchel. Like a fool, I left it inside. My ship is due to sail from Nekataka with the next high tide. If I do not find it, my casita will surely throw me overboard. Merla, I cannot swim. Huh. I would go by myself, but uh, the guards, they bar the doors to me without my casita present. They think I am a thief. Are you a thief? No, of course not. His eyes widen in fright and he waves his hand frantically before you in a warding gesture. I would go by myself, but uh, the guards... Oh, yeah. Uh, so why can't you ask your casita to retrieve it then? I think I would rather her not discover my incompetence. His eyes dart to the side as if looking for something or someone just outside his vision. Yeah, mm, an understandable concern, I suppose. I would go by myself, but... Uh. Okay, okay. So, um... I could help you find it, I suppose. Gelade! You mean it? Agrasima, Agrasima, I am in your debt! The air of misery suff suffusing him lifts for a moment, his eyes go wide again, and he grins. You notice a light sheen of sweat on his upper lip. He shifts his weight from foot to foot and stares at you intently. There is uh, one thing. Madiko, how could I have forgotten? He tugs at the collar of his shirt as if he's suddenly much too hot. If you could, do not open the satchel. The contents are... The information is... What? Proprietary. No, You that's... understand? Huh. <laughs> I would never. When I first saw you, I knew you were a trustworthy sort. I knew. Huh. <laughs> Shoti rubs her uh, a knuckle along the edge of her jaw. Thoughtful. Hmm. How do they know I'm lying? Oh, maybe they, maybe they do. I don't know. Uh, he clasps your hands in his. Please, when you find the satchel, meet me at Peddler's Canal in Queensberth. Oh, that's going to take a, a long while. I hope the high tide comes next week. I actually do. Well, uh, we'll see. So we need to go to the Luminous something or other. Uh, actually, we're doing a quest. That, no, that's not what I need. Uh, find Dagno's satchel. Mm-hmm. I was doing a quest. What was it? Was this the one? With an, no. Goods and services. Fort Deadlight. Fins of Aora. Serpent's Crown. That's where we need to go. Yeah, we don't really... I don't think we have quests to do over here yet. Apart from this one. And that's the bathhouse. And it's luminous indeed. How pretty. Oh, that looks nice. That looks really cool. Okay, let's go in. I like the the blue light sort of thing in in a bath context. Not that I've had, had uh, LED illum illuminated bath tubs or anything like that uh, but oh they, we got butt we have actual butt okay well uh hi you are greeted by a tall carefully composed man the crescent moon in the center of his forehead glows faintly well it just so happened that i used to be well actually pelanumbra used to be selenumbra no i mixed the names i'm sorry the character i imported from the first game was also a moon uh moon godlike up close, the careful tailoring of his opal-adorned robes and their immaculate cleanliness speak to a deep well of vanity. Welcome, welcome. I am Ganor, owner and proprietor of the Luminous Bathhouse. If there's any way I might make your visit more comfortable, you need only ask. He clasps his hands and bows, a playful smile tugging at the corners of his lip. Uh, do you know of a boy named Degnos? Casita Veta's servant? The irritating one? <laughs> yes, he was here attending her just a few days ago. Attending her? Interesting. He tried to sneak into one of my rooms and told me a pathetic sob story when he was caught. I had the guards toss him out on the street. 
I would like to know what the sob story was, but I guess I'm prying too much. I can't do that. Um, I'd like to try your bath, maybe. Do you have blue lights? Mm, show me what you have for sale. Uh, oh. The, I'm... What? Okay. We have the Moistened Cove. Uh, that apparently is worth 200 thingies per rest. It's an actual rest. It adds constitution and healing received, which is really nice. Uh, the Bathial Drop. So if you want really all the buffs, you come here, have a bath, and then you go to the uh, other place where you can have um, the... I don't remember. The brothel thing. It's not, they didn't call it that. It's more sort of a recreational place. I don't... Did they call it that? I don't remember. What it, salty... No, it wasn't Salty Mast. The Wild Mare. That's the one. Um, the Bathial Drop and the Abyss. Plus beneficial effect duration, which is really nice, and extra area of effect. It is also very expensive, but... It is really, really good, because it not only is area of effect, but also the duration here, it's buffs are the best for that. That's really nice, actually, but very expensive, as it should be. And then we have our re-rolls if we need, and, uh, oh, I didn't have two people extra. Okay, well, thank you very much. I might try a bath later, um, but uh, not right now. Uh, although, well, I'll see. I got a couple of warriors. Save, oh, can't save the game with a Q key. That's only on Baldur's Gate. Hello, Mataro Warrior. Have you tried the bathing pool? Oh, Kira, its waters allow you to absorb the powers of the dead. <laughs> you are too morbid, my friend. The Adra Ganor uses has been blessed by the gods, and it is their blessing that empowers you. Blessed by the gods, you say? Have you tried the bathing pool? Mm, oh, Kira, he doesn't say that again. Its waters allow you to absorb I can the powers you up, though, of the dead. But I'm not gonna. Let's go. <laughs> you are too Ooh, morbid, my Rina. friend. I hope we haven't spent too much time in the baths. Are you looking like a prune now? A prune? Is it a prune? The, you know, like a, a grape. A pruned grape. It is a prune. Oh, look at that! We have a water, water elemental over there. Is it... Is it... Can I talk to the water elemental? Is it the thing that's making everything hot? Oh, that's really cool. Uh, it would be even cooler if you were like a fire elemental and a water elemental sort of dancing around each other. Uh, I hope... Yeah, so, okay. A young woman takes uh, your measure wearing a concerned frown. Um... Oh, she thinks I'm uh, I'm sort of a, a thing. Uh, it's fine, I don't work here. I see. My thanks for clearing that up. In any case, we hope you enjoy your time. Thank you. Her companion stubbly tips her head to shoo you away. Uh, I, what brings you to the bathhouse? I am helping Herwina to conceive. She came all the way from the Deerwood, and I will see that she returns with arms laden with young. Is she pregnant? Laden with young? You mean she... What? How does... What? Wait a minute. Oh, she's come... What? Okay. After the Holoborn crisis, I wanted no child of mine born in those blighted lands. Yeah, it makes sense. This place I mean, is a miracle. It's not Every day I correct, emerge but... from the baths as a new woman, and my first child will be as strong as an Adra pillar. She's not pregnant, though. I, I don't think... Um, I don't think that's a guaranteed result. I, well... You know, good luck with that, I suppose. But thanks, and luck to you on your stay here. And her companion simply nods. Interesting. And we got a steward over here. Hello, sir. The cost of enjoying the bathhouse's unique offering is 1,000 copper per session. The Why so much? A prudent question. Well, thank you. He draws himself up to his full height and puts his hands behind his back. He's a Naumawa, so he's pretty tall. The bathwaters are infused with hand-refined luminous Adra, which promotes a holistic balance of the humors. Because of luminous Adra's remarkable qualities, it is also a significant investment to both supply and maintain. Ganor may tell you more if you're curious. He is something of an amateur alchemist. In addition to being a businessman of remarkable skill and insight. Okay. I don't think... Mm. Okay. So, just everything has Luminous Adra. Okay, Pills of Eternity 1 is not canon, it seems. Or Pills of Eternity 2 is not. Um, it, I'm, I, I mean, there's no proof of it right now, but I'm pretty sure... The developers or the writers just went, Oh, this is a world where souls are a thing that you just put in things and stuff. Let's go. Why is the kitty all crazy? Don't be crazy, kitty. Uh, let's go crazy. And um, yeah, just put souls in everything. Luminous Adra, sure, what? No, it's just fine. It's just essence. It's not like people are made of are that. It's fine. Uh, so yeah, I don't think what I was saying 
uh, about the uh, Luminous Andra being people uh, is actually true. I think they retconned it, meaning essence is not a thing. It's just... I don't know. It's just not a thing. Uh, it's just a, a name, really. Uh, because it used to be that it's what makes up a, a soul. Uh, and uh, also, the other thing that I said before about the soul-infused steel, also, uh, the expansion of Pillars of Eternity 1 is probably not canon, and the whole hubbub about just the White Forge being the only place where we can make that, that's probably not the case. They probably just kind of didn't want that to be a hinder to their uh, soul-infused everything in this game. I'm thinking, because if these baths are infused with that, come on. Are you gonna... Everything is gonna be infused with souls. I'm kind of upset about that. And our kitty is gonna drown. That is, I'm, I'm less upset about that, though. It's his own fault. Or maybe he just wants a bath. He's, he's like a lizard kitty. It's fine. Um, so, yeah. It's just... It's, it's Luminous Adra. It's just a, a stone. They have stone. It's a stone. It's a stone. It doesn't... Yeah. Uh, so, and, and I actually, judging by this line over here, it would make sense that it is superstitious to uh, assign it any soul-like properties. Um... Although, I, I'm, I'm, I don't like this. I don't like this. Nobody is saying that there's, so be, that, I don't like this. But then again, I might be confused. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, remarkable skill and insight. Wait a minute. Uh, so, yeah, next you tell me that Luminous Atra grants the, ba the bather eternal life. <laughs> would that it were so. Ganor would make good money. And perhaps I would receive a raise. Yes? The bathhouse steward chuckles heartily. Um... When have you ever known men such as Ganner to share their profits? I don't know how he is, Ganner, so... He seems a generous man. I don't know. Which one? Okay, let's just be random. It's this one. Okay. You, I like. We see eye to eye on <laughs> many things, I suspect. Oh yeah, you're not crazy at all. A small discount for you, friend. For making me laugh. Well, that's... 900 copper. That's generous of you, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna... Be forced to bathe. Arms and armor I'm not. are not allowed in the baths. Should you wish to bathe, you will need to change into your bathing attire. He hands you freshly laundered bathing garments, with uh, still smelling of the kappa leaves they were dried with. Well, thank you. I'll come back later. I don't really want to spend the money. Nope. I spent the money already. Well, I guess we're... Please, enjoy the baths. When you're ready to leave, I will provide you with a towel. Very well. Oh, I didn't need to remove my... Magic waters. <laughs> well, I can have a life ago. Well, and that's the bath. No frolicking, no nothing. I've lost five bathing attires, but at least I bathed. And look at that! We got all the things. Uh, plus one max in power points, which is nice. Plus one maximum discipline as well. So that's pretty good as well. And it's different on different people. Plus one cast with level one chanter spells. And plus one casts with uh, level one druid spells. So that's also really nice. Do you get the wizard spells? Yeah. And you get the uh, priest spells. Everybody gets their thing. And you got cypher spells. We got all the spells, don't we? Yeah, he doesn't have spells, though. Uh, well, but then again. That's, I mean, I didn't, I didn't want to waste the money. I said I didn't want to waste the money, and I'm not going to waste the money. I'm not even going to take the bath. Screw you, you jerk. What a jerk. What a freaking jerk. P charged me twice? What a freaking jerk. Honestly. Okay, let's go through this dialogue again, I just in case. Too much to see. In any case, we hope you... I am help after the... This place is my thing. There we go. So, just in case that matters for anything. Amreo, did I talk to you? I don't remember that. Hi. Is this your first time to the baths? An old man stretches his arms over his head and yawns, making a show of displaying his moistened physique. Um, <laughs> it looks like someone needs a nap. Yeah, I haven't been in the waters yet. Ah, the cost is high, but so are the delights. I, what? I might have the skin and bones of a retired scarecrow, but the waters bring youth back where it counts. He studies you from under a lowered brow as his knees begin to drift apart. Are you kidding me? 
<laughs> no, my eyes. I think that is a good reaction. You generally believe I need to hear and see this? That's a little bit... I mean, are you kidding me is my reaction here. Nope, you can stop that right now. Let's go with that. No, but then again, I think I like this because it's sort of poking fun, but not really being too hurtful, I guess. I don't know if it's... I mean, this could be more sort of... It's a little bit meme -y, basically. So, I don't know. Let's go with that and see what happens. Excuse me? Any applause? Oh, don't act like I'm the one doing anything wrong, you jerk. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to go all in then. He pauses and blinks at you, a rivulet of sweat working down the bridge of his nose. Yeah, just keep it to yourself, Grandpa. No matter. I won't let this energy go to waste. I... Sure. Sure thing, Grandpa. I bet, I bet, all the things. Houdin, did I talk to you? I don't think I did. I also don't think I have enough time in this episode to talk to you, so I'll... Next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Pillars of Eternity 2. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.